In this you are going to learn about journey of food. The journey of food, each mouthful of food is ground up and separated into small particles by the teeth at the same time, it is thoroughly mixed with the saliva from the salivary glands. This juice acts upon the starch and converts some of it into sugar. The well masticated and softened food is then collected in the form of a ball called bolus on the back part of the tongue. The tongue throws it back and the ball passes over a bridge of cartilage known as epiglottis into the gullet. The muscles off. The pharynx contract one after another and force the food downwards into esophagus. The food is carried along the gullet which contracts in a worm-like manner into the stomach. When the food reaches the stomach, it is tossed about by the vigorous action of the muscles of the stomach. The salivary juice continues to act upon the starches for about the first half an hour in the stomach and converts it into sugar. By that time, time while this churning process is going on, the gastric glands pour in large quantities of gastric juice. This juice acts upon proteins and converts them into soluble form of proteins known as peptones. The renin curdles milk and forms casein. The mass now contains starchy portion changed into sugar, molten fat, indigestible portions of food in the form of cellulose etc. With an acid mixture of gastric juice and partly digested food. It is called chyme. At last, the chyme is forced out of the stomach through an opening, the pyloric opening into the duodenum. Before tracing the course of the food through the intestine. The intestines, let us consider the composition and action of two important juices which are secreted by the liver and the pancreas. These juices are called the bile and the pancreatic juice. The bile is secreted by the pancreas. The bile is a greenish-yellow alkaline fluid secreted by the liver. It emulsifies fats, renders them into minute particles. The pancreatic juice is an alkaline, colorless liquid, secreted by the pancreas. It contains three enzymes or ferments viz. amylopsin, trypsin amylopsin, and steepsin, acts on unchanged starch and the sugar and changes them into further simpler form of sugars. Trypsin, in the presence of an alkali, acts on peptones and unconverted proteins and converts them into a simpler form of proteins. Steepsin, in the presence of bile, changes fats into fatty acid and glycerin. When the chyme reaches the duodenum, the bile and the pancreatic juice begin to pour in, and the chyme is at once acted upon by them, as it passes in the small intestine. The chyme has now the appearance of a yellowish-white cream. It is called the chyle. It is slowly forced along the intestines by the contraction of the muscles of the intestines, peristalsis. As the chyle moves through the small intestine, it is acted upon by intestinal juice which converts it into the simplest products soluble in blood and its nutritious parts are, absorbed by the blood capillaries through lacteals. The fatty matter is the chief concern of the lacteals, yet proteins and sugar also go into them. The lacteals have a milky white appearance hence the name. They pour their contents into the thoracic duct, already mentioned. Action of the intestinal juice, the mucous membrane of the small intestine contains tube-like glands which secrete a juice called the intestinal juice or the succus entericus. This juice converts the various kind of sugars like maltose, cane sugar, and milk sugar, so formed, into glucose, Similarly it also which is changes easily the peptones absorbed. or polypeptide into still simpler products called amino acids and fats into the fatty acids and glycerin. By the time the food enters the large intestines through the cecum, it is completely digested and is almost entirely absorbed. The undigested portion of the food together with some water passes into the large intestine, here some water is again absorbed by the blood capillaries of the intestine and the undigested food now a semi-solid mass of yellow color, is forced through the intestine and finally out as feces through anus. Thanks for watching my video. For more videos kindly like subscribe.